Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dead State Reanimated. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as we start the episode by uh, reading a few more data data entrances here. Uh, I, in between episodes, I went ahead and I decrypted everything with the help of the internet as well. Uh, and uh, well, I didn't decrypt everything in the game. I, I I now know I took note of everything, and we're gonna read a few. We're gonna start out by like five five to ten minutes of this. And uh, greeter logs. So these are from R. J. Rachel. So that's about, yeah, the greeter in the hospital, right? I think so. I think so. Let's start with that one. And uh, no, I, I, cl I clicked the, the wrong thing. If you click here, for example, it sends you to the bottom for some reason. Uh, and this one is question. Question is the word. There it is. The main building is already full. She says. Despite this, I've been told to keep interviewing people still waiting in the yard. We haven't even let anyone new in since I began processing them. There's parked cars everywhere on the base too. The official line is that there's still room for at some of the other shelters, but I really doubt it. We're just not set up to help this many people. If we set up tents in the yard and we don't have near, we don't have nearly enough food or uh, near, nearly the food and water or medicine or troops to keep those people healthy. It's just a matter of time before someone out there realizes it and gets violent. And those people outside the fence are already getting desperate. I mean, by God, there are children out there and we are sending them off to where? One of our patrol vehicles spotted infected within a mile of here. I still haven't seen up one up close, but one of the other guys, one of the guys says it was pretty disgusting. The, uh, the commander is worried about the fences being rushed if the infected are spotted by the campers near the fence. If that happens, we could be firing on civilians just to protect the ones already inside and ourselves. I've never shot at anyone before, and I'm dreading the order. Now I have to go back in that room and tell everyone that they're safe because they have to hear it from a, an authority figure. I don't believe it, but I will say it anyhow. Yep. Let's see what else. The greeter log. We can actually just stay with this one. This one is going to be 74LL, and that's going to be tall, I think. Let's see. Tired, she says. We lost a soldier today. I don't know. I didn't know him. He supposedly uh, is. Is that spelled correctly? Supposedly? I, <laughs> she's tired. Uh, he supposedly fell asleep in the back of the truck uh, with um, the door open while someone took a piss. Got bit in the neck, but it wasn't what killed him. Nope. It was a bullet from the other guys trying to shoot the thing. Pretty miserable situation, but I guess the guy didn't suffer too much. The grunts on patrol tell me the infected stuff is bullshit. They claim the people out there are dead. I'm not allowed into quarantine, but someone told me that a number of refugees brought in there died and had to be put down when they came back to life. I'm starting to believe it. We're the last people to know the truth of, the, of these matters. Despite what people might claim, we're supposed to keep our heads down and do what they tell us to. Most of the cars from outside the fence are gone now. Some people left on their own. The rest of uh, the rest, we moved. They were a security risk, so the commander ordered a squad to threaten them if they didn't move their vehicles. Warning shots were fired for some. Any cars left behind were stripped for fuel and parts. As for the people in the yard, I think they got the message that we're under no obligation to accommodate everyone. As long as everyone gets fed and no one else gets bit, I think they'll be okay. I think. That was greeted log number six. Hmm. What happens there? The dead are at the fence. And we have read this one before. When people here find out there's no one at the top looking out for us, I think it'll take my chances out there. Yeah, so basically it all goes to shit. As, well, expected, really. And the letter to Trish. Uh, what was this one? Oh yeah, was this guy that was stuck in Cairo or something? Or in Egypt, I think? Let's see, what is this one? This thing is a tent with a three. And there it is. Day two, still in pa oh, Paris, okay, still in Paris airport, no idea when we're uh, getting out of here, and the airplane people are nowhere to be found. There's a lot of military here, but someone told me there's always military personnel at European airports. There's no TV here, but they uh, but they brought us more food and gave us access to showers. A couple of people tried to leave and see the city, but they told us that enhanced security was in place, and that only civilians walking to go or willing to go through enhanced security could leave. A Canadian guy named Vince... Oh, I think I know this guy. Told me, um, and his last name is Weller. Told me that he had gotten his hands on a local paper and said that he read there, uh, there were riots against immigrants going on in the city. Internet seems slow and spotty and it will probably take forever to even send this message out. I can't seem to, um, 
get to many new sites right now, so I'm pretty much in the dark here. I was walking around the terminal and stopped in front of a gift shop window. It was closed. They are, they all are for some reason. I saw a little porcelain, porcelain dog that looked like the one you had on your mantle in those pics of you as a kid. It really hit me hard. The first urge was to buy it for you, but I don't know, but I don't know why. Maybe to keep with me as a Maybe to keep with me as a reminder when I'm sweating my ass off in the jungle and as I promised to give it to you someday. Uh, then I got to thinking just how far away that day might be and and who will be on and how much we just won't care anymore. Kind of stupid, I know. When I get on that plane, I'll feel a whole lot different, yeah? Probably kick myself for not leaving it at uh, one email. I'm just making this all for m the more difficult, aren't I? Sorry. I should go enjoy the sights and sound of Parrot's uh, airport terminal while I can. Love, even. And that was the last one, wasn't it? Uh, letter to Trish. So, Trish, uh, I'm really sorry, but I had to trade the watch. Yeah, so he's basically... Yeah, things are going badly. I, I remember that one. Uh, and, uh, well, we could also... Yeah, let's just, let's just leave it at that for today. Let's, let's leave it at that. Let's go on with our lives. We need to take care... What do we need to take care of, actually? Do we need to put everybody... What time? I don't even know what time it is. Do we need to sleep? Is it early? Is it in the, no, it's late. It's pretty late. So we got people with no jobs. I can get these guys to heal. And that's going to be that for Max as well. Max doesn't need healing. Max is a badass. Apparently, he doesn't need healing. Um, so James is going to need healing. Do that. And Vic needs healing. There we go. And we can rest the rest of the day here and it's all good we don't really need to do anything there's i mean at this point everything is kind of in um autopilot and it is all good so let's go let's go to sleep and see what happens in the morning this, this I, I really like what happens in the morning though it's always awesome to interact with our guys and all this sort of stuff so i'm having a lot of fun even though even though on the job board things have gotten less hectic i, I i'm liking it a lot but first let me check the trunk everything is good let's go too bad yeah okay so, shelter sh summary, day 30, uh, 35, everything seems good, we gained 180 morale, uh, our okay moods are up by more or less, less one than they were before, we got more fuel, I think, antibiotics gained none, or, uh, yeah, so it doesn't say there, or it might say there, it doesn't matter, food, everything is good, nothing really new. The shelter fence was attacked for zero damage. The earliest day they could attack again is day 43. So we got eight attackers and four guards on duty, so they didn't do anything. Hey, Davis, what's up? Hey, you know, ever since we upgraded the radio, I've been getting these weird messages once in a while. Something about rangers and wastes, as far as I can make out. Huh. Really? Huh. Okay. So, it's probably just some other group out there having some fun tormenting others. Let's not worry about it. Wait a minute, this is a, this is a uh, reference to Wasteland, I think. Static messes with your mind sometimes. Maybe something about the old school foundation is affecting the radio. I think, yeah, it's a reference. Eh, it could be. Or maybe I just need to get some sleep. Anyhow, I'll, I'll let you know if I hear anything else. Okay, well, sure, whatever. Hey, Parisa, what's up? Hey, James, we need to talk. First, I want to thank you again for getting me out of the militia camp. But honestly, if I don't pursue this, it may have been for nothing. What do you mean? Ah, uh, the virus. I had a terrible setup at the camp, but I started to come up with something, and I actually think it could work if I had the right resources. No shit, a cure? That's incredible! I'll need a proper lab, that's the key thing. I need to study the virus in isolation and that, and take notes to see how it reacts to certain treatments. I guess you could have anyone with enough experience to do so, but of course, I prefer it to be me. Yeah, well, we got one of those. What's next? We got the lab. Yeah, the science is only part of it. We'll need a well-stocked infirmary, or someone with the appropriate degree of medical expertise. I'd volunteer to handle that, but, well, I can only do so much on my own. Infirmary? I got that too. What else? Well, aside from that, time? I I'll need some time to work on it. I figure, give me five days and I'll know where I'm going with it. Whoa. I've... Well, I've heard all I need to. I mean, any chances of curing this thing is, is, is a chance I'm willing to take. Excellent. I'll start working on things right away. Oh, Karen, what's up? Yeah, this is annoying, but my morning sickness has absolutely uh, murdered on me this morning. I haven't been able to keep anything down, and I had to stop three times before I came here. Oh my god, hold on a moment. Okay, are you are you about to... Karen runs out of the room, and, and you stand there awkwardly as, as you hear her dry heaving into a whole trash can. 
She's back a moment later, looking exhausted and annoyed. Ah, so, there you have it. The wonder of a new life. Hooray! <laughs> oh, God, that sounds terrible. Get some water or juice if, you ha if we have any and relax. Do some prenatal yoga if you know any. Uh, and if it doesn't make it, you vomit, you vomit more, of course. Uh, prenatal yoga? <laughs> oh, whoa, yuck. La laughing was suddenly awful just then. I mean, thank you. I'm going to get that water and see if it's not a lost cause to try and brush my teeth. No, well, best of luck, mama. <laughs> hey, Parisa, what's up? Uh, good morning, James. I'm feeling pretty wretch right now, and to be honest with you, I might have stayed up all night working on a, an idea. Well, I, I did do that. Uh, but And while I regret it now, it seemed a good idea at the time, and now I'm kind of a stumbling nightmare and would like to get some sleep. Um... So, can I uh, convince her not to do that? What exactly were you working on? You remember back when the internet was still a thing, and you asked someone a simple question and they posted a long response and you read none of it? Yeah, it would be like that, and I'm also tired. I'll, yeah, so I'll just say protein envelope thickness on various lysa viruses and leave it at that. So, protein envelope thickness, various lysa virus. If I knew what these were, I kind of could probably guess what these were. Because that envelope thing of protein is may is basically to protect the viruses or something. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, I could I could take yeah. So let's go with with that. Yeah, if if it kept you up all night, I'm guessing you were onto something big. Why don't you rest up today and check it out tomorrow on t with fresh eyes, huh? Whew, thanks. I could probably use a bit of break of a break. I just hope I don't look at it tomorrow and see I've written nothing. But I'll work and no play makes Jack a dull boy for 17 pages or something. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be creepy. Go on and get some sleep, Parisa. Okay, so she's not gonna be working on that project of her today of hers today. That's kind of a bummer. That is kind of a bummer, actually. Five days that it's gonna take. Six days apparently, because today is not gonna be one of them. So let's go with that. Let's see. So we got uh Vic. Vic, Vic, Vic. He's got no job. He's in the party. We got Paul. He's got no job. He's in the party. We got Max is already in the party, and we got James somewhere in here. There it is. And let's look at if uh, and see if we have anybody here that's willing to work on something that is interesting at all. I don't think so. Repairs are not needed for anything. Everything is good. I mean, all I could do really is just stuff, I guess, but I don't really need it. So, what I'm gonna do... Ooh, I can level up a stat! Awesome! Okay, so I could bring up my strength. That'd be a good thing. I don't really need it all that much. My vigor... Uh, don't think I want that. Perception is gonna be interesting. That's gonna be better. I would love to have agility, but perception is gonna be better, so I'm just gonna go with that for right now. Uh, and I'm gonna go with survival and animal magnetism. Your connection to the wild is so strong that a dog will show up to help you in combat, but will flee if too injured or to return later. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're good to go. Let's go back out. Oh, actually, before we do that, let's re listen to the radio. Day two with limited power, says the guy. Uh, do I know his name? I don't think I do. It's tempting to keep it running. I used to have the uh, computer going, which kind of felt normal. Power to charge my MP3 player, my tablet, my ebook. Your ebook? Shouldn't you say your e reader? You said MP3 player, didn't say MP3, so you should say e reader. But anyway, my game system, they're all starting to die. I'm just sitting in this dark, hot clamshell, uh, clamshell of a radio station with nothing to do, waiting for the next broadcast. But enough about me, still waiting on hearing from any of you out there. What else did I want to say? I had 20, uh, 24 hours to come up with something. Oh well. Standing by for your calls. In the meantime, listen to this. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty and it doesn't matter who it's by. And a song fades in. Well, as, as long as it's pretty, I guess. I, I do like song that's not pretty, songs that are not pretty. Music is not meant to be pretty. I mean, it, it, it is if you want it, but it's not necessarily Pretty. It doesn't need to be pretty. That's what I'm trying to say. Badass music is badass. It doesn't need to be pretty. So it could go, go down there or it could explore this place. And I'm kind of dreading the going up there. So I'm gonna go here. I can. Oh, wasn't there? Oh, that's right. We found something last episode or a couple of episodes ago over there. And we're going there. You guys remember? Mm hmm. Where is it? Dang it. Oh, no. What? I found a... This is a special one. Where are we? Where? A wild dog... 
A wild dog appeared nearby. Something about it makes you think it's here to help. Yes, it is. But why are we here? What is this? I don't want to be here. Is this the place? Mm, I don't want to be here. I want to check out the hospital. I will probably reload the... Um, probably reload the save here. Yeah, I, I just opened that. Okay, it's fine. Load quick save. We're good. We're good. We're gonna, we're gonna get it. Don't worry. I don't remember where it was, though. Uh, was it north? It might have been north. It might have been over there. Let's find out. Was a hospital? Was it a hospital or a clinic or something? I don't remember. But there was something good over here. Of that, I am certain. It was very close to the edge as well. So that's not that. It was over there? Grapevine. Yeah, you can keep the vines for yourself. I don't care. Okay, we got something over there. I think it was maybe down here. There it is. It's that one. Okay. Small clinic. It's not going to be a hospital, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good. And of course, I don't want to waste fuel. So that's why I do this. And we're going right there to the 183. Through, you know, basically going cross country. Because why not? We got a badass... I don't know what that is. GVC, probably, or something? I don't know what the brand's American cars are. Uh, and, well, it's probably a Jeep, actually. Grand Cherokee or something. Cherokee? Is it Cherokee or Cherokee? I don't know. But this is gonna have plenty of zombies. I can bet you anything. There's gonna be zombies all over the place. Uh, well, now, oh, there they are. There, I told you. I told you they were gonna be here. They never fail to disappoint. Or actually, they never disappoint. Okay, let's see. I don't want to go back there right now. We're going to get in through the entrance here. It might be a little bit better in regards to keeping them away from me. Uh, okay. So set that as active. Take a shot. Nah, don't don't take a shot. You're going to set that as, uh, set that as active right there. You're going to take a shot with that thing. Because if you can kill him with a single shot, and you can't, you're gonna reload that next time. I'm not gonna shoot here. I'm gonna move in here. Take a shot, and that's a kill. Yeah, the noise levels. Oh, that's just one, one decibel of noise. That's pretty good. I am satisfied with that. But yeah, if I could keep the zombie onslaught to a minimum. What was that? What was that? I heard that. Was a rat something? No, don't shoot. Dang it. Why are you so doom? Why are you so dumb? So doom. Okay, let's get close. 70, that's good. Go for that one. Oh, that was a one-shot kill. Perfect. Just waste this, because it's fast and it's easy. Let's get in here. We got a bunch of zombies in there. 0% chance to hit, though. 25 or 20. Go for that. It's one-shot kill. Oh, they heard that. Ooh, I reloaded. Okay, the guy's down. I'm gonna move in. Or, yeah, basically, move in. We got guys coming in from here. Okay, we're gonna do this thing. One down. Uh, you are gonna shoot at that. And move outside. That's not where I wanted... Oh, that's the dog. That was the dog! That's what I heard! Holy crap, 19 action points! This guy's good! I didn't know... I didn't know he was gonna be controllable. This is awesome. The chug is powerful, but this is awesome nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah, the dog is doing his thing. That's what I heard. Okay. Um, so you're going to take a shot there. And wait. Uh, just save your action points. It's all good. You're going to fall back here. You're going to take a shot there. The dog is going to kill a lot of guys. Uh, that guy's not going to do anything, so I'm just going to move in and murder. That was 21. Yeah, the dog takes five action points to attack, so it's not that great, but it's still pretty good. Okay. Uh-huh. That's fine. I don't think they will attack the dog, hopefully. The wild dog. He doesn't have a name. What kind of name would we give him, though? Maybe... I don't know. What's wild and could be named? I don't know. That's not... I'll leave it up to you. If any of you want to name the dog, by all means, go right ahead. Uh, so I'm going to move out here. I am going to take a shot there. Uh-huh. 110 decibels. That's still manageable. See if I can kill somebody here. That's good. And the dog goes on in. Hopefully. 19 action points is really nice, though. Uh, so you're going to wait back here. You should be able to kill this guy without problem. There we go. So we got three zombies on the map. That's fine. That was an attack on the dog. That's fine. You're going to reload there. 
So we got three zombies, which means there are only two zombies that we are not seeing right now. So that should be totally fine. Dog is gonna go on in and eat these dead clerk. There we go. And oh, they're still somewhere around. No, they're not. Okay. Oh, they are. They get out. Get out, guys. Get out. It's weird. Why was he whimpering? Oh my god, that was a lot of damage. Okay, the dog... I don't know. I don't know how that's going to go, but I don't want to make too much noise here. So the dog is going to basically attract these guys. And uh, he is down to... Where's... How do I see his health? He's wounded. Okay, so it's not that bad. Just wait. Uh, and, uh, yeah, just wait for them. So these are the two... No, there's three zombies. Mm, someone might have... I thought... I thought... I thought I was right, but I might have been wrong uh, in regards to the number of zombies that exist in here. So let's take a shot there and fall back. Okay, and let's take a shot there. And that is that. And then the dog is going to go on in and attack that guy and kill. Okay. Yeah, the dog himself doesn't end combat. He needs to be one of my guys. And that's, that's that guy. That's the new one. And I can kill him or her. Okay. Let's go with... No! Damn you, stupid man. Seriously. That was stupid. That's a bad move. It was basically a misclick. It wasn't stupid. It wasn't intended, so it can't be stupid. Uh, let's see. I got two attacks. That should be... I got missed one. Okay. That's really bad. That's really bad. Oh! That went for Max. That's... That's good. And Max finished it. Awesome. Whew. So all the zombies are dead, and uh, we're good to loot this place. Let's see what we have around here. Got a few corpses, of course. Not a whole lot of zombies, all things considered, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Uh, and, of course, get some of these. And, of course, we have the, the, it, the fact that it's a clinic. A small clinic, but still a clinic, which is going to be good for... I don't really know. I don't need the... Um, the antibiotics anymore, so I mean, I still gain experience from getting them, so that's it, that's good. But apart from that, I it's fine. Let's see, file cabinet here with some stuff. Not interested in the first one. I'll take the vitamins and the sugar. What the hell was that? A sugar bar? What is it? Sugar bar? It is a sugar bar. Okay, yeah, it is sugar bar. It's a candy bar, but it's called sugar bar. It's a weird way of putting it. Okay, some antibiotics right there. We got a dead clerk here with a couple of good things. A growling woman. She's not growling anymore. And a shuffling man that also is not shuffling anymore. Okay, good. A slashed woman. That's appro appropriate. Back here. Ooh. Crash car. I don't need that one. Can keep it. I never use them. Probably should, but I never do. I can keep that stuff as well, because I don't need it. Uh, I... Yeah, I'm going to go over here. Ooh, nice stuff. Some sodium as well that I don't need either. But, yeah, sure, whatever. Can't be bothered. Uh, and some more antibiotic. Ooh, a microscope. If we needed one, and we don't. Ooh, another one of these. If we needed one, which we don't. Uh, and surgical tools that are for... I don't really know what they're for. I think we have them, but just in case we don't. I'm going to bring them along. And that was the small clinic that we just saw. Not really all that much, all things considered. Eh. It's good. It's good. I mean... It's fine. Let's get that car. Okay, there's nothing. Okay, well, small clinic. Wasn't a big deal. Wasn't a big deal, to be honest. I'm fine with that. Uh, let's put all this into the trunk. Of course, all the uh, nice special items still need to be like this. I still need to be given to all the guys, and I'm still carrying a bunch of ammo back home. I have a bunch of ammo that I didn't, didn't put into uh, the people's inventory, so I need to be attentive to that as well. Put all of that in there. There we go. And we're up to 41 pounds of stuff. Yeah. And the dog is with me. Is he always going to be with me? That's going to be a good thing. Okay, let's go up here and find out what that was all about. Supply warehouse. Hmm... Well, we know what, what awaits us. That's nice. Uh, but I don't know how many zombies we have. So what I would like to do is kill them all out here. I'm going to have Max deal with these guys first. So they're going to come to me and I'm going to do them in without problem. I'm going to kill this guy first because he's going to attack me and that, one, that other one is not. So I didn't look at the zombies actually. Oh, I have the dog. 
Must not forget. Attack. There we go. 25. Fall back a little bit. Let's kill that guy. So, we got one zombie over there, and that's the fourth. So, that's the tenth, and then that's probably like the thirteenth or fifteenth. I'm not looking at them. Let's just do a thing. That's minus one. Oh, come on. I wanted to see how many there were, but I, I think we have quite a lot. I think there's quite a lot of them here. So, in that case, guns are going to be a good, a good solution. Speaking of guns, we just got one over there. We got another. Okay. Oh, that guy saw, saw me. That's bad. Uh, I could I could check my oh, yeah I think that's about 50 15 zombies or something like that it's not really anything too extraordinary let's take a shot there and kill him with one shot that's perfect go to the car and get that little bit of fuel and also the guy oh guys he's got a part and some cards okay so let's go on in and let's see what this is basically a supply warehouse you think no zombies? No, oh, no, uh, no looters? Okay, no looters. That means... Uh, actually, this means bad things, because I can't... I'm gonna want to have Max do do that guy. Because he's the only... Pro I want to be in here. I want to have this be our defense. This gate here to be a bottleneck on the back, not on the front. Because our backs should always be more protected than our fronts. And to be honest, I'm more okay with shooting guys that are coming from over there than the guys that are kind of... Attacking us at our rear, which is not really—I mean, there's not really a thing such a such a thing as a rear in this game because you can turn wherever you want. But the thing is, if I need to retreat, I can't. So that kind of makes no sense. That would mean that I'd be better outside than here. Hmm. Well, I don't want to retreat. I'm 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 good as I am. So let's take a shot there, and that decomposing woman. Actually, no. Let's take a shot. Okay. And the dog is complaining. That guy's gonna die. That guy's gonna die. And I am gonna take. Ooh, my hit chance is amazing. 100% back there. Yeah, my hit chance is amazing. So we can move in here and probably take a shot there. 100%. That's good. That's that was actually good. 48 points of damage. That was a critical. This guy is going down. Yes, he is. Move up. The dog is gonna protect our rear. And Jack and uh, Max is gonna protect our front. Of course, they're all moving in, which is perfect. Uh, I think everything is going to be fine there. Take a shot there. I am going to take a shot. I can't really do anything here. I'm probably just going to go over there and do that. And then you shoot this one. There we go. You need to reload. And then I fall back, and that guy's not going to attack. So, nope. Still got the dog back here. And there we go. That's the plan. Okay, hopefully he doesn't attack him, but he might... Eh, no, no, eh, I don't know where he's going. I just don't know where he's going. Okay, so I got possible shot there. Mm-hmm. Go for it, and that's a uh, guaranteed kill for Max, so might as well not do anything else with anybody else. There we go. Are we good? No. Shoot. Okay, are we good now? I think so. <laughs> the sniper rifle was really, really good. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm going to worry about looting them off camera. But for right now, I just wanted to see what we have over here. We also have... Yeah, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff in there. Oh, boy. Uh, we have a growling woman over there. Let's shoot it out. Okay. We got, oh, man, we got a lot of zombies coming in. I'm just going to do this to them. That's how I do. Yeah. This works. It's a little bit cheaty, but it works. It's fast as well. There's no need delaying the inevitable. Because they are all going to die either way. The noise level is kind of a problem, but... Ah, whatever. Let's move on in. <laughs> oh, man. The sniper rifle just vanishing. The zombies are just vanishing. That's great. And, of course, I have a dog as well. Man, that's good. Okay, what do we have in here? Got a guy over there, pungent corpse. Take it out. Okay. Take that one out. Zombie levels are not. Oh, the chug. That's not good. I think. Oh, that's not good because we got guys on our backs right now. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm gonna take them out. And somebody takes this one. Hopefully. Nice. 
And now you don't do anything. I got the dog to do the rest. Just bite into it, man. Just, there we go. And apparently, nope. Okay. Take another shot. Okay, 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 okay. I think we're done. Nope, we're not. The dog sees, the dog sees. Okay, move on in. Take a shot there. And hopefully that guy didn't see the dog yet. Oh, the dog's not mine. Come on. F fall back, little guy. Fall back. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, the noise level is kind of getting up there. But I think we're doing well regarding these zombies because they will teleport in here. So I might as well just wait for that guy. It's, it's fine. Yeah, just wait for him and we're going to handle him without problem. Oh, he's not going to come? Oh, he is. He definitely is. Uh-huh. And you reload that because you're not going to use it. And you shoot that guy if you can. You can't. How about from back here? Oh, that's good. That's good. And there it is. I'm not going to shoot with that because that's a pain he has to reload. Let's have the dog do the work. And there we go. Six, uh, 36. Oh. oh, there we go. Perfect. And now, finally, we can see what this is. A bookshelf, desks, and the soda machine. Oh, man. Okay. Gonna go on in. Try to kill this guy. Didn't work. But that's fine, because I got the dog. Yeah, having two melee is good against these guys. Yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly relevant around in here. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and loot the place. I can't go up there, oh, even though there's dead people. Oh, man. It does not look nice. What the hell happened there? They killed themselves or something. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything particularly interesting around. Uh, there are some zombies, some remnants. That I'm gonna dispatch, but for right now I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dead State Reanimated. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye!